I don't quite believe my luck. I'm gonna be kind of getting a little bit fine trying to get back to ride. Ah! Oh no! I hope I haven't missed the boat. Oh. Hello my dear friends. Let me share one of my luckiest days with you, which did nearly end with me being stranded on the Isle of Wight. Most of this channel is swarmed with steam trains, and don't worry, there's some that managed to sneak their way into this video too. But today we're focusing on Steam on the Sea with SS Shield Hall and PS Waverley. Well, what do you know? A steamship being guided in by some tugboats. This is what we like. You're not flying. What a con. That tug is ferociously pushing into the port side. Really trying to turn it. Top speed of this, 15 miles an hour. Regular speed, 10. I don't believe it, I'm about to get boat blocked. What a gem. Don't do this to me. What a lovely view. Whistle now, whistle now, whistle now. No, a woman's head. Right, do I go and chase it? I've never had to chase a ship. Let's do it. Okay, it's quite nice to see how many people have actually come down to see it. That's sweet. time I stopped recording. <laughs> so now it's properly docked and now that I'm not chasing it because schedules trying to chase steamships are a little bit difficult I found. They're not like trains. Anyway, this is the SS Shield Hall of the 1950s. Steam ship, as you can see, originally lived in Glasgow. So down here in Paul Harbour and Dorset, it's you'd think it's slightly lost, but its second life was working at Southampton. Both times to carry sludge, sewage waste out to be dumped at sea basically before that sort of practice stopped happening or at least the way it was done stopped happening it became a little bit more eco-friendly. It's now preserved as you can see it doesn't just happen to still be here carrying passengers but from its earliest days it did carry passengers. The company they worked for was very keen on letting people come aboard, go up onto the bridge and then down into the engine rooms. You can carry about 80 passengers back in the day. I reckon there's some more than that today. There's a lot of people out on the quayside seat too, and that's really, really lovely. You might think, oh yes, it's a steamship, and immediately draw comparisons to the RMS Titanic. And this has a slight link to Titanic. In 2012, it was repainted into white Starline colours as best as they could, just to mark the 100th anniversary of the sinking. But one proud link it has is that it's got basically smaller versions of Titanic's engines. It's got two reciprocating engines which is very rare to be working in this day and age. It's got steam. So I just spoke to one of the dock workers and it kind of adds up. Apparently Waverley failed to dock over here. Paddle steamer, extra maneuverability, but apparently not good enough. So they just stopped over there and called it a day. It's leaving tomorrow morning on day excursion, so 
never want to come see it, it's going to come back down again, but this is about as close as I'm going to get. This is why railway engines are better. You know exactly where they're going to be. <laughs> Curse you boats. Didn't even get a whistle. Ah, why Waverly? It's very Waverly. I don't quite believe my luck. I'm on the Waverly now. <laughs> There's a ship in the background called the Celtic Fortune and that, I literally feel like that. Uh, I went to go and see Waverly and Dock today because I didn't get to see it yesterday very well because uh, they moored somewhere different. But lo and behold, port rules, we couldn't get too close to the ship. You needed a shuttle bus to come down and actually see it so they wouldn't let me on. But I was speaking to the people who were waiting to go on board and one of them happened to have a ticket. His friend couldn't make it today and they were just they wouldn't have been able to use it. And they're like, oh, do you want it? I was like, please? <laughs> so this is a complete change of plan. That, that's me. First port of call, this is Swanage. A lot of people forget on Swanage. Now the best thing about this is that it goes to two steam railways. First we're stopping here and you can go on the Swanage railway and then I'm going to try and go to the Isle of Wight steam railway because we're stopping in Ride. We're there for two hours and there, uh, there's no like shuttle bus or anything today. But I did bring my bike. So might just be able to make it there and back. See a train and go. This is interesting, we're literally down at the waterline now. 
So I very much had to make my day plan up as I go along because I wasn't expecting to be on board today, but they've been really, really lovely and I've made sure I, I personally I paid the person whose ticket I um, took and then, you know, I've, I've been buying drinks and things on board just to like support what you believe because I, sh I shouldn't have been on board like this today. Um, but we're going to ride, we're nearly there, we're, we got here early, apparently we were doing upwards of 17 knots, which is above the regular service speed for Waverley, because the tide's been in our favour, everything's in our favour today. I'm just exploring the ship right now, just to <laughs> take it all in, it's, it's very very lovely. It's an old LNER paddle steamer, so it's got a railway connection as well, oh, just happy. Whilst I was frantically cycling down narrow country roads, I concluded it was not a good idea to record at the same time. Getting the train to Smallbrook Junction would of course been quicker, but with no pedestrian access to the station and no train that arrived back on time, the best shot I had was getting to the Steam Railways HQ at Haven Street. Train spotted, barely, back up the hill we go and further in fields. lovely as that was to see. I only just made it here and I tried, I heard the whistle just as I got to the bridge. Tried to get both cameras out in time. The tripod died. <laughs> the tripod had had enough. So we got one camera. <laughs> oh well, it's fixable. These damn gorilla pods, they do break a little bit. They're a bit fragile. Anyway, here's my bike helmet, safety first. If you're wondering why <laughs> There was one clip of me at Haven Street Station, and now I'm at some random railway bridge. It's because um, I would have only had half an hour, 40 minutes in the station, and I asked the guy at the office, and I was like, you know, I've come here on the steamship, I'm just going to be here for like half an hour. He's like, well, it's eight pounds entry fee. So it, it wasn't really worth it. As much as I want to support the railway, there's not enough time to travel on the trains today. There's not, not any point going into the station for like half an hour when it's eight pounds. So I thought I'd come and go do line side stuff instead, especially since I have the bike, I'm, I, I haven't been here before, I've not been able to cycle to other places. It's three o'clock now, I have one hour to get back to the ship and back on board, so I don't want to chance it too much, but that was an austerity. I'd really like to see if I can film Calborn, which is the other engine running today. <laughs> um, so we'll, I'm going to check the timetable and see if I can risk it. If we're going backwards anyway, but still, it's Calborn. There's a vague indicator of where I need to be. You can see the church, one of the churches in Ride, I think, back over there. Man, I'm really hoping the train is on time. I'm going to be cutting it a little bit far and trying to get back to Ride. Uh, and I will be stranded on the Isle of Wight if I don't make the boat. Oh, a bit of adrenaline, isn't this fun? Come on, Calborn. Literally waiting for a steam engine so I can go back to the steamboat. Oh, this is a fun day out that I wasn't expecting to have. I realized there was a bridge and crossing further along. So chancing fate for a little bit of variety, we're there now.
did it. I love you, Calborn. Bye. Gotta go make a boat. Make a boat. Get a boat. <laughs> I took a different route back to ride, but my ride home seemed to be missing when I got there. Me. Well, I've made it back to ride. I'm on the pier. Uh, I don't see Waverly. I've got five minutes before it's like scheduled to be in, but I thought I would have seen it. <laughs> ah, oh no. I hope I haven't missed the boat. Anyway, another unique experience. Just seen, not the tube trains, but the new Southwestern Railway trains going up the pier, now that it's been renewed. And getting to drive and cycle alongside, along this massive pier. Quite strange. Let's go. Where is the ship? What a place. It's a railway pier. I'd love to have seen the Terriers and the O2s coming up here in the steam days. People are probably driving past thinking this is like a really weird dash cam. I'm just holding the camera as we go. <laughs> this is a bit of one-handed biking. There you go, you can see the trains there. We're done with trains today. We need a boat friend. I don't see our boat friend. Fun felt, off we go. <laughs> <laughs> bye then. <laughs> this would be so much better view if there was just a ship here. Here we go. Move the gangway in because Waverly's rocking a bit. Suppose I live on the Isle of Wight now. Thank you. 
what a voyage this has been. My dear friends, if you'd like to learn more about these steamships, or perhaps join them on sailings for yourself, check out their websites at ssshieldhall.co.uk and waverlyexcursions.co.uk. They are both remarkable survivors from an age when steam ruled the waves, and certainly worth your support if you're able. If you've enjoyed this video, I have a whole playlist of good times chasing trains, and another one deep diving into the history of them. Maybe subscribe if you've stuck around this long, or become a channel patron to support future content. Thank you all once again, and have a very good evening and good night. I didn't know where they put my bike. It wasn't where they left it. I was wondering it had gone overboard. Then I found it. <laughs> what a place. Many thanks to my brilliant channel patrons. Alex Goodman. GBH Train. D0280 Falcon. Sean Tempest. Random Thomas Fan. Ego. Dark White 73. And Andrew Dyack. <laughs>